Okay, I, uh, you know, <clears throat> got this practice, uh, I guess today was 13, so it's it's winding down, and as it is every year, you know, in spring, I mean, you're not you're not preparing for an opponent, and, and guys get tired of doing the same thing, tired of practice, and tired of going against each other, all that stuff, and, you know, the guys that, that uh, really, truly love the game are the ones that can push through it. You know, so you start separating some guys that, think football is just fun and guys that it really means something to, which is kind of where we're at now. So, uh, you know, it, with that said, we got, you know, one more practice on Thursday without pads and then uh, the spring game on Saturday. So it, it, it's winding down. Uh, we have shown <coughs> tons of improvement all over the board. The one thing I like about this team more than anything is, <coughs> is the back and forth nature that happens, that exists. I've uh, been, been on some teams where it's completely one-sided and you don't win a whole lot of games by it being like that. So, you know, defense is probably making a whole lot more improvements than offense is. Offense is starting to get a little complacent. Uh, don't know if they're reading too much about how good they are or what, but they're getting a little complacent, and defense is uh, flying around making some plays and excited about what, what's happening. So that's where we're at, and we'll see what happens on Thursday. We'll take some questions. Coach, how would you compare – today with a year ago. Oh, geez. Can you remember a year ago? I can't. No, it was like I can't. Little. Uh, you know, <clears throat> the one thing I remember about towards the end of spring last year, all the, all the roles were reversed. Last year we had a bunch of, you know, had more experience on defense. You know, guys knew what they were doing. You know, we came in offensively, and it was, you know, you know, with change comes probably a breath of fresh air for specific individuals. Uh, and, you know, towards the end of spring, uh, defensively, we knew we were going to be pretty good, but offensively started kind of getting things together, you know, and started understanding what to do and, and had some success in the spring game, if you remember, you know, offensively. Uh, this year, it's kind of just the opposite. Offense knows what they're doing. Defense is there's kind of a breath of fresh air over there. And uh, it seems like they're anxious and eager to get out there and get better every day. So if I was guessing, then I would, you know, I would fast forward to the spring game, and I would say defense will probably you know, play pretty good. And offense will probably go out there and think they're good and go through the motions and not get any better. That would be my guess. What about the defense? You said that you've seen a lot of improvements out of them. Can you, can you point to one thing? Can you put your finger on anything that you've really seen them improve with? Nothing specific. They, I mean, they still got some guys that got a long ways to go, obviously. But, uh, you know, just their energy is, is good. Uh, you know, they get out there and they fly around mm -hmm. and. Uh, you know, they're anxious to get better. Got a little bit of something to prove and a chip on their shoulder probably, so go out there and just motivate it a little bit more. Logistically, how's, how is the spring game going to run? I mean, in terms of... You know, oh, it'll it'll be, it'll be similar to what we did last year and similar to a scrimmage. We'll go one on twos, twos on ones. Um, you know, we, we'll... we'll what, what very little special teams just because there's so many moving parts with special teams. We've got a lot of work on our special teams this spring. All of our units have got a lot of work, uh, you know, which you, you want to keep working it, but for the sake of of time and, and putting jerseys on people and disorganization and making a whole bunch of people mad because it looks bad, we're not going to do it, you know. So it would be basically offense on defense. We'll, you know, there'll be a scoring system. If the defense stops us, then they'll get some points. If we score, then we get points, and that'll be pretty much it. It would always be first team against second team. Well, that 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 gets distorted very quickly. I mean, we 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 will attempt to go with that format early. You know, but then you're running people on and off the field from a D line, you know, perspective and a receiver perspective. Uh, it's, it, it, it'll look like the same people out there quite a bit. Huh? I said I know you stopped one more practice before that game, but what were you hoping team wise, fan wise, atmosphere wise to, to get out of that game? Oh, you know, some uh, festive more than anything. I mean, you know, the 
I, I, I can't. I, I, I would. I would challenge you to find one coach across the country that gets a kick out of the spring game. I mean, it's it's you. You want it. You got to do it. You got to. We want to do it for the fans. You know, the players kind of get a kick out of it because they get to put their nice uniforms on. They go out there in front of a bunch of people and try to make a play. But you know, it's the end of spring and you want to get out healthy and you know. But we want it to be festive and we want everybody to kind of get a glimpse of some of the younger kids more than anything. Thoughts on your second scrimmage from, from last Sunday? I know you said the offense kind of carried the first one. Uh, how did the second one go? Any thoughts on that? I'll give you a guess. Can you guess? Based on what I just said? I, I guess the defense Defense, de- defense did better. Defense played well. Defense played well. <clears throat> offense, we didn't make as many plays, and it's been kind of a trend here lately. Write all kinds of bad stuff about the offense, if you guys would. What in particular about the offense? The, um, the give and take for personnel and what you see on the defense versus what you were saying on the offense, you know, it, there's as much involved with pace on defense as offense, right? The, uh, having the ability to be able to handle it, yes. Which we, we don't, you know, we don't just sit there and just go fast and tempo them, tempo them. I mean, we let them, we let them line up. But but they have the ability to be able to do that, which is good. You, um, you think teams are better switching it up rather than just going fast all the time? Offenses. Good ones can. You know, the ones that just go fast all the time probably probably. Uh, they probably hurt themselves more than they helped themselves. Well, Coach Beaton was out earlier this week. You mentioned Jeff Brown as somebody who's really improved this year, found his natural spot on the other side of the line. Can you talk about that, what you've seen out of him? He's yeah. done good. You know, he, he, he's he been kind of a vocal guy that, you know, had, had you know didn't have a whole lot of confidence last year for whatever reason. He missed last spring, probably had something to do with it, you know, and, and switched positions from the year before. He's settled in, I think, and he's got some confidence, and he's a senior. You know, the more seniors we can get out there with confidence, I think the better off we're going to be. That interior with Madsen and Jenkins, could that be one of the best interior groups in the country? Oh, I'm not going to say that. They look, they look terrible today. <clears throat> I've got some work to do to get into that category, I can assure you.